gonna do some shooting that's right but we're gonna hit what we're aiming at oh I got to practice ain't I I don't want to be no cook the rest of my life yeah, your life's gonna be mighty short oh <laughs> well, look if you don't shoot me I'll do some singing or something Sing? that's another thing we're scared of I'll let him sing he's not so bad start singing boy and it better be good well you boys get your instruments and play for me will you History is written from the deeds of the great. What they've all accomplished, but not their mistakes. Perfection is elusive, suffering abound. Nero made music roam burn to the ground. He was an amateur once. He was an amateur once. Just because he set the world afire one day. That don't mean a thing, he wasn't born that way. He was an amateur once. Impossible, stupid, a dunce. Nobody knows how good a fiddle he played. It was much too hot to listen anyway. He was an amateur once. He was an amateur once. He was an amateur once. Impossible. Stupid. A dunce. He struts around with pistol shooting this way and that. In 20 years he couldn't hit the ground with his hand. He was an amateur one. He was an amateur one. Who can tell how deep the well by the handle on the pump? Give me time, I'll bet a dime someday I'll make you jump. He was an amateur one. Someday I'll show you. He was an amateur one. The dunce. Oh, oh, the cookhouse is on fire. <laughs> No, that's my dinner! <laughs> Ooh. 
It's the boss. He's been shot. Uncle Tom! We'd better get him inside. Easy. Who's a stranger? I'll bet you he's the one that shot Tom Jarvis. Maybe so. Anyway, I'm aiming to find out. Here. What do you know about this stranger? Well, nothing. I saw the team running away, and by the time I caught up with it, Mr. Jarvis was pretty far gone. How did you know it was Mr. Jarvis? Well, that's what you just called him. Mighty strange you were Johnny on the spot. You accusing me? That's right. Any of you others feel the same way? You low down, you killed Tom. Steve Godfrey. Why, just like old times. You're mistaken, mister. You think I'd be fool enough to bring him here if I'd killed him? Who's been killed? Tom Jarvis has been murdered, Mr. Treadway. Murdered? Yeah, we think that Steve Godfrey did it, too. Oh, nonsense. Godfrey's right. He wouldn't have brought Tom here if he'd killed him. Where's Mary Ann? In the house. Just what's the idea of not recognizing an old friend? I want you to meet me later at the old line shack, Smiley. I just heard about it, Mary Ann, and it was quite a shock. If there's anything I can do... What can anyone do? First Dad and now Uncle Tom. It just doesn't make sense, Mr. Treadway. Why should anyone want to harm them? I don't suppose you'll want to go on living here after this. Oh, I don't know what I want to do. All mixed up. Pull yourself together, Mary Ann, and don't worry. As your uncle's lawyer, I can take care of everything for you. Thanks, Mr. Treadway. Goodbye. Was you watching me? I sure was. Oh, some no account must have greased my saddle. It looked like it. Good to see you again, Smiley. Well, a funny way you got a show on it, considering how I looked after you in the cavalry. I don't blame you for being surprised. Nothing surprises me after this. What is it? Where'd you get this? I was in the sheriff's office the other day when that come in the mail. Good old Smiley. I could always count on you for everything, except your cookie. Well, you don't need to pay me no compliments. All I want to find out is, why did you do it? Well, since I never could keep a secret from my orderly, here it is. I was in charge of a detachment escorting the paymaster. When Sergeant Jarvis got a tip, we were going to be held out. I changed the route of march, but we rode right into an ambush. Lost a few men and all the money. And they suspected that you'd done it. My changing the route sensed it. Tom Jarvis got a dishonorable discharge for following my orders. Now my only hope of clearing us both is to find the leader of those outlaws. Oh, you know who done it. No, all I know is he handles a gun with his left hand, and he and his gang headed this way. Well, maybe Jarvis caught up with him, and that's why he got killed. That's possible. Unless there is a reason for someone wanting that ranch. Do you think Miss Jarvis will sell out and leave? Well, she pretty near sold it when her daddy was shot. She ought to hang on to that place. Steve, she's not going to listen to you unless you tell her the truth like you did me. Well, I can't do that. But there is someone she might listen to. Durango? So the Jarvis girl still doesn't want to sell out, eh? I didn't press the matter because I didn't want to appear too anxious. But I want some action. You'll get it, but at the right time. Meanwhile, I want you to take care of this stranger, Steve Godfrey, who's moved in here. Godfrey? Have you any idea where he hangs out? You'll probably find him around the Jarvis Ranch. He won't be there long. I'm a 
bake in a pan of biscuits and I'm going to try to fix it so the boys can have a steaming pot of beans. Then I boil the coffee longer because they like it black and stronger. You could sharpen butcher knives right on the steam. They don't care so much for mutton, but I tell them better nothing. And a cup of axle grease can make it swell. I don't worry how to fill them. I'm afraid someday I'll kill them. I just throw it on the plates and ring the bell. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. You would really think I feed them mighty swell. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Come and get this greasy poison while you're well. They're all tired of stewed tomatoes and they're foundered on potatoes and they turn a grassy green on Spanish rice. We ain't got no bacon fryings and I'm plum or out of lion. Cooking ham and eggs in cold cream ain't so nice. Now this bread would be quite tasty if it wasn't made so hasty. I should use bacon soda still alive. As a cook, I am from police. These mushrooms sure look toadstoolish, but I'll cook them up and hope nobody dies. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Call the coyote. Call them all. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Just be sure to keep your boots on when you fall. Hey, that's Rex Young in his outfit, ain't it? Yeah, it looks that way. Jumping scorpions, that means a fight. I'll go buckle on my smoke pots and round up the board. You're not welcome on this ranch, Young. What are you doing here? There's a stranger by the name of Godfrey hanging around here. We're after him. Well, he ain't here. We think he is. Well, you got another thing coming, then. Steve rode away from here. They're a pack of lion coyotes. One of you watch this bunch. The rest of you take a look around. Pete, let's see who's in the house. doing here? Well, uh, I, I was just chasing the Durango kid, and you had to go and do all that shooting and scared my horse, and he bucked me right off. Did you see Durango? I saw something. Where? Right over there. Say, we better take a look. All right, let him go.
Ring I, let's go home. Durango Kid. Miss Jarvis, Steve Godfrey, a friend of mine, sent me here. I'm already indebted to you for what you've done. Would you sit down? No, thanks. Do you know of any reason why somebody should want this ranch bad enough to kill both your uncle and father? No, I honestly don't. But there must be a reason for those killings, Miss Jarvis. And I intend to find out what it is. That is, if you don't run away and give up. Why should I hold on to this ranch and try to run it alone? All it's ever brought is heartache. But don't you see if you run out now, you're playing right into the hands of those responsible for everything. I'm sorry, I, I can make no promises to anyone. Not even to you. You know, if you hold on to this ranch a while longer, you might help clear a dishonorable discharge from your uncle's military record. What do you know about my uncle's record? You'll find out only if you stay here. Treadway. This is a pleasant surprise. Come over here and sit down, Mary Ann. I can't stay but a moment. I came to thank you for taking care of Uncle Tom's funeral. No thanks are necessary. It was the least I could do for a friend. But Mary Ann, you know, I'm worried about your being out at that ranch all alone. Oh, I'm not without protection, really. The boys are very loyal. I realize that. But I have an offer for the place. Not what it's worth, I grant you, but fair for a quick sale. You seem anxious for me to sell. I'm only thinking of your safety, Mary Ann. I know that, Mr. Treadway. But you see, the Durango kid dropped in unexpectedly the other day, and, well, he's, he's promised to keep an eye on things. That does make me feel easier. Still, if I were you, I'd give the offer some thought. My mind is pretty well made up. I'm keeping the ranch. Thanks again for everything. Not at all, my dear. Goodbye. I just saw the Jarvis girl leaving here. Yeah, she was here, and there isn't a chance to make a deal with her. There's more than one way to skin a rattler. Now, if she's trying to get tough, it isn't the girl, it's the Durango kid. We've got to set a trap for him. Have you got any ideas? I think so. We'll spring it tomorrow morning. Morning, Smiley. How are you feeling? Oh, pretty good today. I saw Treadway leaving a while ago. What do you want? Well, he's worried about a rumor that Rex Young's up to something at Bulky Mule Cut. Rex Young, he's always up to something. I'd like to meet him face to face someday. What would you do? I'd just walk up to him and I'd say, Rex Young, don't you reach for them shooting irons. I can draw faster than you can. And he'd be a dead pigeon before you could say, Theophilus Thistleson. Who? S uh, well, I hate to interrupt a good fight, Smiley, but your eggs are on fire. Oh. <laughs> That's the third pan of eggs I've burned up this morning. Say, you know I located Rex Young's shack up in the hills? You did? Yeah, and I sure'd like to know what's going on inside. You would? Well, you've just come to the right feller. Two-gun Burnett, they call me. Iron nerve and a dead eye. Now, don't you go getting any wild notions. That's a dangerous undertaking, man-sized job. Are you insinuating? I'm not insinuating anything, I'm telling you. Now, you stick to burning up good chow and leave Young to me. I'll go tell the boys breakfast will be late again, as usual. Dangerous job. Huh. Man-sized. Well, I'm tough. I'm mean. Two-gun Burnett. If I had two guns, I'm man enough.
Reach for the sky, you vipers. Gone. Consarn it, they knowed I was coming. Gonna meet the boss. Well, meet us at the cut. Well, the sooner we get there, the better. I've been itching to take a shot at that Durango kid. That goes double for that coyote Godfrey. You may get a chance at both of them. Hey, what's burning? Hey, it's burning. Get these horses out of here. Spying on us, huh? No, I wasn't. I, I wanted to get a drink of water. I was thirsty, really. You just wanted some water, huh? I got something better than that. You have? Yeah, a dose of lead. Uh... Well, may as well start on him as anybody else. No, not here. You know, he'll make a good decoy for the Durango kid. Find his horse and put him on it. <laughs> Well, there's a the boss now. You boys wait here. We're all set. Good. I'll let the word get noised around the ranch that there might be an attempt to hold up the stagecoach here today. And if that doesn't bring out the Durango kid, I've got some sure bait for a trap. He caught Smiley snooping around the shack. Figured he might be used as a decoy. That's fine. Shoot him and leave him out here in the road. When the Durango kid shows up, I'll pick him off. There he is. Let's go. Something's gone haywire.
Did I shoot you, Mr. Drango? You didn't miss by much. Why don't you make up your mind whose side you're on? Well, I didn't aim to. I I'm just learning to shoot. I wouldn't hurt you for nothing in the world. something I want to tell you that I don't want anyone else to hear. Really? What is it? Now, don't get too excited. At least not until after we've investigated. What would you say if I told you there may be gold on this ranch? Gold? Oh, you're not serious. I'm not sure yet. It's just a rumor. Could that be why we've had all this, this trouble? Very likely. It's supposed to be right behind the old line shack. I'm going up to investigate, and if you'd like to come along... Of course I would. I'm ready now. <laughs> What's agitating you? Treadway and Mary Ann just rode away. Well, what's wrong with that? Maybe they're heading for town on some legal business. But they didn't head towards town. They went out towards the line shack. Line shack? And they both looked excited. The Durango kid better do something about this. Turn around. I don't know what you're up to, but whatever it is, you won't get away with it. My boys are a little nervous. You better come inside before they get careless. Young, you've been ordered to stay off my ranch. From the day on, it'll be my ranch. Unless you're foolish enough not to do a little favor for me. Certainly, Miss Jarvis will refuse. On my advice. Then you better change your advice. Way. A dead lawyer is no better off than a dead rancher. Now you'll sign that quick claim deed to the ranch, and then I'll escort you out of this part of the country. You have to fight me first. That won't be too tough. No, no, wait, I'll sign. All right, there's a the paper. I would, Miss Jarvis. Get her out of here. Hurry. Get over there. The rest of you unbuckle your gun belts. Left hand. All right, get back closet. I'm not going to let Rex Young or any other man run me off my place. I admire your courage, Mary Ann, but you may be endangering your life. Hello. Hello, Godfrey. May I come in? Yes, certainly. Steve, Rex Young just tried to kill both of us, and he would have, too, if the Durango kid hadn't interfered. Well, why should he want to kill you? Mr. Treadway thinks there's gold in my land. I didn't say that, Mary Ann. I merely said I'd heard a rumor to that effect. Well, you know, I can't figure how Young knew where you were heading. Yes, I'm puzzled, too. Don't take any unnecessary chances, Mary Ann. What's in your mind, Steve? Oh, nothing. I just think. Howdy, Troy White. What can I do for you, Godfrey? I can't get to the bank at Redfield for a few days. Uh -huh. A little uneasy, carrying all this money with me. Uh -huh. I was wondering if you'd put it in your safe for me. I'm glad to accommodate you. How much is in here? Uh, 500. Better count it. 500 is correct. I'll put it in the safe right away. Good. It 
It'll be all right in there. That's fine. Do you mind giving me a receipt? Not at all. I notice you write with your right hand, yet you do other things with your left. Yes. I'm what they call ambidextrous. I can use either hand. I see. Thanks for the accommodation. Glad to help you. Any time. night here, me and the gang from the Jarvis Ranch are going to put on the entertainment for you. Yeah, in case any of you folks don't like our playing and singing, please don't start shooting until we put the instruments away. <laughs> <laughs> Understand, forgive me if you can, for the way I made you cry when we said our last goodbye. I'm sorry now you see, you're all the world to me. I didn't mean to scold you, so now let's start anew. I will always love you, dear, and kiss away each tear. You're the one that I adore, dry your tears and cry no more. I'm sorry now you see, you're all the world to me. I didn't mean to scold you, so now let's start anew. I will always love you, dear, and kiss away each tear. You're the one that I adore, dry your tears and cry no more. Good evening, Eddie. Hello, Mr. Pedway. Mind if I sit here? Not at all. I've been watching Steve Godfrey like he told me. And? He's been up in the hills all day. A little while ago, he headed toward town. I tried to trail him, but he gave me the slip. Thanks, Eddie. If you find out anything else, let me know. Yes, sir. I've got those papers ready for you to sign. Drop by the office on your way home. I'll be along directly. Good.
Don't move, Treadway. What do you want here? A confession. You're insane. I have nothing to confess. I think you have. It took me a long while to catch up with you, Treadway. Now you're going to pay for the killing of the Jarvis brothers. You can't prove that. I can prove that you held up an army paymaster a year ago. Somebody left that money sack here. That won't hold up in court. Sit down. I'll tell you what to write. Wait here. I'll be right out. I want to know who else was in on that holdup with you. I tell you, Durango, I know nothing about the holdup of that army paymaster. Pete, Durango, kids inside. Surround the place and don't make any noise. I'm going in. Quit stalling. Drop it and reach, Durango. We don't put up with outlaws in these parts. We're going to unmask you and blast you full of holes. Take his mask off. My men are outside. You'll never get out of here. I think I will. Start walking, both of you. Open the door. I'll tell you what to say. Leave your horses here and walk down to the pavilion. What about the Durango kid? Shut up and do as I say. Jarvis girl and forge her name to a quick claim deed. Once we have control of the ranch, I know how to cash in on the gold without anyone knowing where to find us. Well, tonight's as good as any time. I'll get the boys. Hold on. Let's be smart. Wait a day. Why wait? When the stagecoach comes to town, everybody will come in to get their mail. That'll give us our chance. Yeah, that's right. If I didn't feed them, I wouldn't have to wash them. Dirty. Ding. Busted dishes. Busted. Now there's an idea. Hi, Smiley. Hi, what do you say? Aren't you going into town? Marianne's almost ready and she doesn't like to be kept waiting. What's she going town for? Same reason everybody else is, I guess. Says she'll be coming in with the mail. That's right. I plumb forgot that. Well, it won't take me long to bust up a few, or wash up a few dishes, then I'll be right with you. Oh, Smiley, uh, where was Steve Godfrey going a while ago? Town, I reckon. I wouldn't know.
inside. Comes the boss. Let's give her a tune. Please don't think me impolite if I make a constructive suggestion. And please don't think it isn't right to ask a personal question. You look like a cowboy. You act like a cowboy. And you pick a string like one. So I sit here and wonder why in the name of thunder can't you sing like one? That's where nature's done me so wrong. I'll explain it in the chorus of this song. I wish that I could be a singing cowboy and go yippee aye 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 aye. You mean you'd like to be a singing cowboy? I go yippee aye aye all day. For a cowboy vocally, you do sound absurd. But what your voice could stampede her I wish that I was a singing cowboy I'd go you by aye all day But I'm the saddest cowboy that sings on the range I don't even sound good singing home on the range So we'll show you Oh, give me a home Where the buffalo The antelope play. Oh, I'll go if I ain't all day. What's the treadway? Yes, Eddie? I went through Steve Godfrey's stuff today and I found these. So he's a deserter from the army. This puts a different light on everything. And that money bag proves he's guilty of the holdup, doesn't it? Yes. It proves something else, too. Yeah, what? Never mind for now. I'll tell you later. Good work, Eddie. I'll turn this over to the sheriff right away. Thanks. Now, just a minute. How many yards did you say that target was? Oh, hiya, Sheriff. I've got to arrest you, Godfrey. Arrest Steve? That's right, ma'am. I just found out the Army's looking for him for desertion. I'll take your gun. Well, are you going along without even a fight? What's the use? Had to come sooner or later. Well, I can't figure that out. Steve going along without some kind of a scrap. Mary Ann. Mr. Treadway. What's wrong with Godfrey? The sheriff just arrested him for desertion from the Army. And I can't believe it. We've got to help him, Mr. Treadway. Of course, of course. I'll do that later. Uh, but right now, there's something else. You sound excited. I am. Remember my saying I'd heard a rumor about gold on your property? How can I forget it? Well, this morning, I found out that it's true. I'll have to see it to believe it. While everybody else is in town, we'll slip out and check it. All right. But there's just one thing, Mary Ann. I don't want Young to suspect anything, so I'll go on ahead. I'll give me plenty of chance to get out of town, and you ride to the big rocks in the hills back of your place. Don't worry, I'll be along. Good. Sheriff, I'd like to get a job as a deputy, Sheriff. I don't need no deputy. Leastwise, not one like you. Well, you'd be surprised how good I'm getting with guns. I got you. Don't move. Pretty good, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> I know lots of tricks, too. Look at me spin two guns to one. First, I spin one walking backwards. Then I spin two. Wait a minute. All in, Sheriff. Get the keys, Smiley. Open the cell. It's your turn now, Sheriff. Men are making a mistake. You let us worry about that.
What's up? Well, I don't rightly know. Treadway said something to Mary Ann. Then he got on his horse and rode out towards the ranch. Mary Ann seemed pretty excited, and she got in the buckboard and went out after him. Well, you round up the boys and bring them out. I'll go on ahead. an idea. <laughs> That'll be good. It is. Come on. Ah. Ah. Something's gone wrong. Get to your horses. With you, Treadway. All right. Come on. So Treadway's the death attract. That's right, ma'am. He's the man who killed your dad and your uncle. And he's also the one who ambushed the army paymaster. I want you to drive him into Badger City in your buckboard, Miss Jarvis. But I'll be where I can keep an eye on him all the time. Well, I guess I better be on my way. I have to bid Fort Blaine after tomorrow. And here I thought I was going to collect the reward for your capture, Steve. But that confession of Treadway sure puts you in the clear. <laughs> no hot feelings about my locking you up in your jail, is it, Sheriff? Well, no. I reckon that's about the only way you could have kept me from interfering. Thanks for clearing Uncle Tom, Steve, and for everything else. Oh, I was glad to have. Don't forget what I told you. Keep an eye on Smiley now. Oh, I'll have to, since he was so lucky with those six guns. That was pretty good shooting, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, he practiced long enough. <laughs> Bye, Marianne. Bye. Bye, Sheriff. Good luck, Steve. Captain, you couldn't use a good orderly, could you? You'd do better to stay here, Smiley. So long, Bye, Steve. Steve. Adios. Steve. Adios, folks. Good luck, everybody. Now, 
Now we have him where we want him. Let's just pin the medal on him. May I be the first to ring the bell? Ring the bell. 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 Let him have it. Give it to him. Black 